special. What's up, what's up, what's up, people, bitches? It's the Real Rasta Boy TV, and it's your boy, the Real Rasta Boy. Thank y'all so much for watching and tuning in this week. And make sure y'all are following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook all the damn same time at the Real Rasta Boy. And I do follow back, so don't, I'm not one of them people that ask y'all to follow me or follow me and I don't return the favor because some people that I'm following on Instagram, I'm about to start on following y'all asses because why am I following you and y'all not following me back? Y'all not liking my pictures, I'm and I'm there liking all you know your pictures, y'all not showing me no love. So what the hell am I following y'all for? Y'all about to get unfollowed. Okay. Anyway, big shout out to everybody out there celebrating birthday this week and this past weekend. I want to give a big happy, happy, happy birthday to our president Barack Obama, who just celebrated his birthday yesterday. Mm. Yes, God to the president celebration is another damn year in his life. I want to cheers it up to Mr. President Barack Obama. Our president is black. Yes, he is, and he's in the White House with a fabulous wife and a, and a fabulous family. Um, so a big, a big shout out to the president for living to see another year. And I'm drinking the president's drink. I'm not sure if he drinks like I do, but this is what I would be drinking if I was, you know, in the White House. A watermelon martini, watermelon minute made, vodka, and a splash of um. Apple plucker. So it's an apple plucker watermelon martini. So it's um, watermelon minute made vodka, some apple plucker, and a splash of ginger ale. You know my, you know I put ginger ale in everything or ginger beer. Anyway, big shout out to everybody out there celebrating birthdays. Mm. And again to the president for living to see another year. But it's hip hop love and hip hop ratchet ass Monday. So hold on to your seats. It's about to get turned up in here. Okay. I just, 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 just watch, you know, Virtual will be teasing us all the last week, giving us, you know, the Mimi and Jocelyn little argument and the, you know, K. Michelle 718, um, Jocelyn, you know, and I'm like, can y'all just come on and hear this love and hip hop reunion? Yes, God delivered tonight. It wasn't all the way turned up. However, there was a few highlighted moments of the night. Let me go and break the cast down on what I thought about the cast. Uh, um, ensembles. Okay. Let me start off at, um, who should I start off at? Uh, my girl Mimi. Mimi was wearing this orange, um, tangerine looking dress with like a, a gold neckline, bedazzlement jewelry. She kept the hair very short and curly, very bouncing on her body. And the makeup was very, you know, you know, neutral looking good Mimi. Um, then, you know, her girlfriend, um, Ariana, was was looking, I think she was wearing black with, with like a lavender lips. The lips was everything, and the hair is always laid nice. Um, her other girlfriend, Miss Erica Dixon. Oh, yes, God, Erica Dixon and that dress with all that cutouts up here in the in the bosom era, girl. Mm -mm, you better work. And I'm just was loving that makeup. The hair... Could have been fixed a little bit better, but the makeup was awesome. And you were giving this this nasty, fabulous shoes. You better go ahead, girl. Um, who else? Then, you know, Rashida, she's pregnant, so I'm going to give her, her a pass. But that outfit, you're lucky you're pregnant, girl. But outfit was... Let me come, let me move on. Um, Jocelyn and this damn disco ball, um, um, Moulin Rouge, um, 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 Vegas looking um, prom dress that she was wearing with this damn um, blonde looking curly suit here. Girl, Jocelyn, really? You look way better than last. You look better, you look better last reunion than you look this reunion. Okay, um, who else? Um, my girl, Tracy Steele, you was giving me a lot of hair. Big, curly hair. Yes, it was everything. But I, I could do a little bit more with the outfit. It was cute, but uh, it's a reunion. You need to turn it up. Um, Shay, you know, as much as I'm not for Shay, Bucky, you know, Johnson, whatever her name is, her outfit was kind of cute. I was loving that little. She was giving a nasty ass um, ponytail with like a nice ombre. She'd been turning up on her fashion listen because everybody was calling her ass out last season for her fashion mess. Um, Mama D, oh my God. Mama D, as much as I love you for your saints in that order, all those, um, um, throne and kingdom and palace talk 
You need to dress like a queen, girl. For this bedazzlement jewelry you went around your headpiece, what is what is um Adam's family dress looking like? This is not my sweet sixteen, the Adam's family values version, okay? Um, am I missing anybody yet? Um, am I missing anybody? Yet? Am I missing anybody? Oh, K Michelle was just K Michelle. She was wearing the same here. We've been seeing her wearing the red hair. I was a wig, and it was you know the black roots with the red hair. Okay. Um, oh, Carly Reed was there. Nothing special. She was just there taking up space. Um, let me go ahead to the man. The man, Stevie J, I don't know where, if he was going to the club because it seemed like he was wearing a club outfit. He was basically wearing some um, a sleeveless tank top looking like he was about to go to the club after the reunion, which he probably did. Um, Benzino, he knows I was trying to be dapper dads, was in his blazer and his little ensemble. All right, Benzino, I'll give you that. You know, you turn it up a little bit. Kirk Frost, that color blocky you were trying to do was blocking my vision. That that baby blue and yellow, mm -mm -mm -mm. no ma'am. Who else? Oh, Scrappy. Love the white, but I hate the bubble-eyed ugly glasses. Are we still wearing those ugly glasses still in 2013, Scrappy? And who else was there? Um, Stevie, Scrappy, Benzino, Kirk. Um, who was that man on this show that I didn't call out yet? I don't know, but anybody I forgot, enough of y'all dive into the reunion now. Okay, so K. Michelle, you start off with K. Michelle. You know, K. Michelle has been the talk of the season, all season. We know that she's moving to New York, and th I think she's going to guest star in a couple of the episodes of Love & Hip Hop New York to transition to her own show. And everybody who's K. Michelle fans, our album is coming out August 13th, next week, Tuesday. I'm tired of VH1 giving us all the commercials throughout the damn episode so we can remember that K. Michelle's um, album is coming out and actually she'll be performing on the part two reunion so they're trying to make sure she get a lot of plug so y'all make sure y'all K. Michelle fans that go get a cop her album okay so the show started off with the you know K. Michelle was the talk of the season all season where K. Michelle was having friction with everybody in the season from Rashida to um you know Rashida and Kirk relationship to her and Mimi who and she Mimi, well Seem like her Mimi don't have a relationship going on right now because Mimi says you don't seem like they have anything popping right now as far as their relationship. Um, to her and who was she in fact? Carly Reed, um, giving her a diss track for her birthday. To her and Jocelyn now becoming good girlfriends. Um, Kelly, you know, K. Michelle was the talk of the season all season. I'm loving her for keeping up her energy and making me want to watch because. You know, K. Michelle is a kiki, and I love her sayings, I love her, she be real, talk about her vagina, and her not having sex, and, um, and all of that stuff. I'm loving K. Michelle, you know, we'll, she will be missed because, you know, we need somebody who's going to give us some cray-cray and some laughter on the damn show. Okay, so after that, now they bring on Jocelyn and, you know, um... Stevie J and Mimi to talk about their love triangle mess and the re, um, the previous um, the last episode of a season we saw that engagement um, or a double proposal that Stevie J tried to do and Mimi was not for she was having a key key moment but um, um, you know let me break it a little bit I'm seeing that Mimi is people say Mimi is bitter she's you know holding up a lot of anger in her but I can't understand where Mimi is coming from you know she's been with this man or was with this man Stevie for a long time and then you know is you know when these people in the, in the entertainment industry get a hold of you know people that are always attacking them on them you know trying to you know freak them sex them be with them and stuff you as like the girlfriend or the baby mama you see all this going on and sometimes you, you can't take it no more you can't take, but take much so much so much but some, whatever the saying is going. But Mimi is feeling all this hurt now. And she's trying to overcome it, but I see she still needs a little bit of working on working on that part of getting over, getting over Stevie J. She, she's not messing with Stevie J since Jocelyn and him started messing around, which is good. Because at the end of the day, is he's trying to wrap both of y'all around his finger. Jocelyn not going on damn her because she knows on damn better. She about talking about, she never had no mother when she was growing up. And Stevie J has been good to me. And, Crocodile Tears Girl ain't not, I'm not buying them Crocodile Tears Girl. You're in that disco ass dress that you're going to a 70s party. Um, 
So enough of that, Miss Jocelyn, her, and trying to be, because one minute she's crying, and next minute she want to take her first feeling towards somebody. So you ain't, I'm not buying your hooker down tears, Jocelyn. Um, let me keep on going on to, um, to who else? Um, they talk about, um, Steve, um, Tracy and Baby Drew's relationship. <sighs> Don't think it was popular about that relationship was, you know, we got to saw, we got to see a side, uh, a new side, well, new people coming to the show. Tracy, a DJ in ATL on the radio. Stevie, sorry, Baby Drew is a so-called celebrity DJ as he's trying to act like he's DJ for Chris Brown. And I've never seen him in any videos or nothing with Chris Brown. But again, I don't follow him on Twitter, so I could care less. And that outfit that he was rocking, boo, boo for you, Baby Drew. I forgot to call him out. That outfit you were wearing, Baby Drew, uh-uh. You need to grow up and wear a grow outfit. Okay, Baby Drew? Um, um, Tracy and you in a relationship with, you know, it plays out to be born sometimes, you know, she calling your, your girls groupies, salon whores, popcorn whores, all that shit she call them. But at the end of the day is you have a child together, you're going to have some kind of communication where y'all are going to intertwine and, you know, intermingle and all that stuff. So at the end of the day is y'all going to be with each other in some kind of capacity one way or the other. Okay, moving along. Um, oh, the pirate Erica, um, her mother... Scrappy and his mother, the royal prince, the royal royal prince and um, Madame Prince, Madame Queen, talking about um, and I'm like, oh my God, I don't like when Erica cries. She gets so emotional and she can barely talk. And I understand where Erica's coming from. You know, she has been with this guy Scrappy for a long time, in and out, in and on and off. You know, dealing with people in a, in and out the relationship. And, you know, having to deal with a daughter, the people talking a shit about her, um, Scrappy's mother always bad mouthing her. So she's dealing with that a lot. And she's in a space right now where she's trying to work on a friendship with Scrappy, not trying to be like, oh, you know, we're going to try to work on trying to get married or anything. So big shout out to you, Erica. You know, you know, it caused, it caused somebody to be strong in, in something like this at this time where you're trying to work on you and eventually everything else will fall in place. Okay. Um... Okay, so I'll deal with that part. Who else are they, who are they coming about? Okay, Rashida and um, Kate and Kirk will be next week. Next week we're going to see Erica, sorry, Rashida, pregnant Rashida and Kirk mess unfolds next week about that baby stuff and, you know, the cheating scandal and all that stuff. All that's going to unfold next week. Um... I'm trying to come up to my tweets because I was tweeting all live. Remember, I'm tweeting at the Rest the Boy um, all throughout the the, 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 um, the reunion. So make sure y'all follow me. And Jocelyn, I'm tired of you calling Stevie J beefcakes by, you know, telling Mimi that she knows that Stevie J beefcakes are good. You know that Stevie J beefcakes are good. Oh, God, girl, go sit down. Because it's like the only thing that you're, that, you're, that, you're, that you're on Stevie J for, the money, the fame, and sex. And Mimi say ain't that good. So, next. Um, what else? Um, you know, I talk about oh, I read his outfit so far. Um, you know, me, um, you know, K Michelle kind of dissing people on the sideline, you know, <laughs> telling Mimi that her dress looks cute tonight. You know, she was that was kind of a read, but um, oh, before I go tonight, can we talk about the damn band? Why did Mona Scott Young, VH1, Love and Hip Hop crew get a damn band for them to play during the show and between intermissions and stuff? I was not here for this wretched ass band that was annoying the hell out of me. I was like, can they just go to commercial? I don't want to hear this band anymore. If I was the only one who was hurt by this band, please leave your comments in the comment section. I thought I was not the only one who was hurt by this damn band annoying me th throughout the damn 45 minutes of the damn um, reunion part one, please also sound off because I'm like, go to commercial. I don't want to hear this band no more. <laughs> anyway, more love and hip hop continues next week on VH1 at 8 o'clock. The messiness continues. We're going to see Rashida and, and Kirk's mess unfold. We're going to see, um, um, you know, Erica Mom and, you know, and, and Krabby Mom start going back and forth at each other. Um, obviously, we're going to see drama going on between. Um, um, Carly Reed and, and and Stevie J and Benzino coming in. Messy, messy, messy. <laughs> I got a run because there's more shit on TV for me to watch tonight. But make sure y'all subscribing, subscribing, subscribe. And cheers up y'all. Watermelon, Apple Martini tonight. Watermelon Minute Blocker. Watermelon Minute Maid. Vodka, obviously. And some ginger ale. 
I'm gone. It's hot as hell up in here. So take off all your clothes. Deuces. <laughs>